Hi there, it's Susie Iverson, otherwise known as Susie Q Scraps, and I'm here with a quick tip to show you how you can line up elements and space them out evenly in Photoshop Elements. I'm using version 9 for this tutorial, but it should work for earlier versions of the program as well. If you use a version of Photoshop CS, you'll want to check out my other video. So I have here a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout with a background paper so you can see these alphabet letters. And I've spelled out the word colorful and rainbows with these little tile alphas. This is all from my Raindrops and Rainbows collection. And what I want to do is show you how you can line up these letters um, so that they're all in a line like these three at the end and how you can space them out evenly instead of having some touching and some that are further apart. Um, and then I'm also going to show you how you can do that vertically as well. So first we want to select all of these pink letters. Um, so make sure you have your move tool selected. Then you can just click over here in the empty space and drag until you've selected everything that you want. Now it's also going to have selected the background. So if you hold shift and click on the background, it'll unselect the background, but it'll keep the other objects that we selected. And the first thing we're going to do is line them up. Now these are the same shape. So you could choose to align them either along their top edges, their bottom edges, or their vertical centers. I tend to stick with vertical centers. Um, so that's, again, by clicking on Align and then Vertical Centers. So now you can see they're all lined up vertically, but we still have uneven spacing. So the way we fix that is going to Distribute, and then we want to distribute the horizontal centers. And as you can see, it is now separated <clears throat> the ones that were touching and taken away some of the space that was between the ones that were further apart. So now we have an even amount of space between each letter. So let's try that again on these black letters over here. Again, click off on the side so that you're not selecting anything, and then click and drag to select everything you want. Hold Shift and click on the background to unselect it. So now we just have our letters, and this time I'm going to choose to align them along their horizontal centers, and these little images over here on the left try to show you what your result's going to be. So now they're all in a line, but again, they're not spaced evenly. So I can go to Distribute, and then instead of distributing the horizontal centers, which worked for a row, for a column, we're going to distribute vertical centers. And now you can see that it's split what space there was so that it's even between all of those letters. Now once you've done that, you'll probably want to come over here and click on this little link layers icon so that if you were to grab and move this, you move all of it in one piece and you don't have to redo what you've done. If you have any questions for me, you can email me suzyqscraps at gmail.com or visit my website suzyqscraps.com. Thanks!